What's up guys? I've got another update video for you. So this week just a small one, mostly bug fixes, quality of life, and rebalancing. So let's get started. So we at next uh, it has working animations now. It has death animations and attack animations so you know what it's doing when it's doing something and they are unique. Not that it really matters because I believe all of the spells are basically the same. I think they just have different like the barrage one will barrage you or whatever, freeze you. And then when you, I uh, probably should have uh, got more prepared for this. When you, um, like when you do enough damage to get to the next phase, there we go. Yeah, now, it, now it'll let you know and then it'll spam your chat with you. So it'll tell you which one you need to, to damage. So, yeah, and then I also made it so that the death timers on these things is more realistic. So, just a couple more fixes, a couple more changes. I also hopefully made it so that the likelihood that they would drain your prayer and uh, take your prayer off has been removed or reduced. The taking your prayer off has been removed and then the prayer drain has been reduced. So, hopefully some more changes to get this thing good and hopefully it'll be soon. Like, I mean, I shit this thing sh about ready to uh, be released, like fully live. Okay, so on to the other updates. So some things have had their protection values changed. Ghost Hunter Amulet being one of them. Juggernaut, Prototype Cloak, just a couple things that had low value and things like Sierra Brew would protect over them. If you notice any other items, please just report them. We'll, you know, we'll get to them. You can now do Zolra, God Wars, and Warcath without needing a pet. Um, in the last update, we uh, I messed up the code and basically it required you to have a pet to um, to do Zolra. Uh, it would it would restrict the banker pet, but it also made it so that like you had to have a a pet. I don't know. It was weird code, but um, thanks to Dark, we were able to fix it, and it should be working perfectly as intended. You cannot bring the banker pet. That's that was the intention. Okay, so the undead necromancers have received a couple changes. Uh, for starters, they are now considered undead. They were not undead in the previous update. Uh, some people pointed that out, that the Ghost Hunter and stuff was not working on them, and that was true. It was not, but it is now. Um, they've also been uh, rebalanced. They have a lot more stats, and uh, they have uh, better animations and stuff like that. Uh, let me just kind of do a once-over on their uh, drops. I should have searched for something that we did. Necromancer, <laughs> boom. So, yeah, everything is essentially the same. There's a couple new junk items. You can see, like... Bones and pure essence, and then a little bit of rebalancing on the rates, um, but for the most part, I, I did. A, we, we, uh, John and I did a lot of these, and I, I feel like they should be pretty good now. Um, you now you'll you'll have to pray against them, but um, you should have been many ways, right? So yeah, let me know if your your feedback on those. But they should be a lot better. Should be a lot more balanced, and they're definitely worth doing. I definitely plan to make a video on these to show um, the the potential you can get from them. You now get 50 dark energy from smashing a dark stone. If you didn't know that that was a thing, but before it was five energy, which is very low. So I decided to make it 50. I don't, I don't know if that's even worth it, but at least it's better than five, right? The King Lava Dragon now respawns faster. It is uh, twice as fast as Kodak, or twice as slow as Kodak, I should, that's just, <laughs> I should say. Uh, it is twice as slow as Kodak. It used to be three times as slow as Kodak, so. Um, should be able to kill it a little bit more faster, a little more frequently, um, you know, just trying to help, you know, hold, help people grind out the, the lava sets, I guess. Cerberus now, uh, I guess I should just show you Cerberus, I don't know why I'm here. So, Cerberus's respawn timer has been, uh, it's been a little bit faster now. And then also his death timer has been reduced. So, if you've done a lot of Cerberus, you'll know that whenever he, uh... Is this like a, some weird ass tile I can't step on? That's weird. Anyway, so you'll know that when he uh, when he died, he had a really long respawn timer. For me, it, I always thought I got a loot because uh, you lag when you get a loot. So I assumed I was laggy, but it's not lag. It's just a really weird respawn timer or death timer. But it's been changed. You can see it's kind of slow right there, but it, trust me, it was even worse than that. So yeah, it should be a lot uh, a lot cleaner. If you plan to do some server burgers, server burgers, the Titans gear, <laughs> the uh, the helmet, 
the body, the legs, and the boot have all been nerfed, uh, mainly in the defensive stats. That's pretty much all I touched. Uh, it is very tanky. It's a very tanky set of armor, considering it's essentially free. Um, it makes the wilderness kind of cheesy. It's probably still going to be too good, so I'm thinking we should do uh, maybe a couple other changes to tweak that. But that's, you know, it's a, you know, you know we'll, we'll see. It's a, we'll see. We'll, we'll go from there, right? We'll, we'll, we'll test it, balance it a little bit more, figure it out. But uh, the rogue's chest slash the chests in the donator zone are now, uh, have been improved. I'm not gonna sh open a bunch because odds are I'm not gonna get anything fancy. But there's clue. The the clue. The chance of clues from these should be really good. I don't know, like how good. Maybe that's worth doing a video on these per like an hour. Uh, if you didn't know, these are just the ones that are in the wilderness, like the like the rogue's castle, the 84. So if you're not a donator, you can just do them in the wilderness if you wanted. Or if you wanted more XP, but then you know, there's a couple here. Uh, also reworked the donator zone layout a little bit. You'll notice that the Forester is over there now. The uh, bank booth is here, so it's a lot faster. You teleport in, heal, bank, TP. It's a lot cleaner. And then I also uh, fixed the bank booth because it was facing the wrong direction. I'm not going to die to show you, but you should no longer need cash to... Oh. What? <laughs> Why do I have room... <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not some glitch and I just... I don't remember dying with rune plate skirts. So I'm just going to assume that that's cool beans and there's no weird glitch that just gave everybody <laughs> free rune plate skirts. Uh, yeah, it should be free to reclaim your stuff. Um, I'm going to mess around with that. I, I was trying to make it like so that... The, uh, it, it doesn't matter. It, 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 I had issues with it, but ultimately I just decided to make it free for now. Still thinking about it, but I just, I, I don't know. I, I like the idea of you having some annoyance when you die. Uh, just being able to immediately, like, like on Classic, where you don't lose stuff, you don't even, like, you don't even mess up your inventory, you just immediately go back to, to combat. I feel like that was a little bit too much, but also kind of annoying as hell to go to the bank, get one mil, and then buy my stuff back. Like, yeah, I don't know, just annoying as hell, so, yeah, there, there we go. Uh, also some, oh, I already, I already, I think, yeah, I already talked about it. I think that's the end of the video. Let's watch it. I always do these late at night, 1 a.m. Bye. Good night.